Hello, I'm Ken Whelan from Light Reading, and I'm joined today by Vidak from Varana Networks. Hello, Vidak. Hello, Ken. Just, could you just tell us a little bit about Vida Varana Networks and uh, what they do? Yeah, so Varana Networks' mission is to make uh, the, the cost of deployment uh, and ease of deployment of 5G millimeter wave networks. And this is a crucial problem for operators that you're addressing, is it? Yes. Uh, so millimeter wave offers massive amounts of capacity and increasingly we expect that operators are going to need to use millimeter wave spectrum for some of their demanding applications such as fixed wireless and extended reality. The challenge with millimeter wave is that uh, coverage is difficult to provide economically. And millimeter wave signals uh, they don't, uh, they are easily obstructed. They don't bend well around an obstacle. As a result, operators have to deploy them on many more sites than what they have today. And with today's technology, that becomes very expensive. So how does Verona Networks make deployment of 5G in millimeter spectrum more cost effective? So uh, what we are developing is for the first time, a, a 5G radio access network for millimeter wave that uses uh, multi-hop uh, mesh radios with self-backhauling. And, uh, and these networks, uh, actually 3GPP uh, calls this architecture integrated access and backhaul. So operators can use our mesh radios and put them on existing sites where they already have fiber. And in addition, they can use the same mesh radios in additional sites to extend that capacity to a much larger area. And this way, we are able to reduce the both capex and opex for the operator and also ease the, uh, the site, site acquisition and speed up the deployment. And you're getting market traction for this. We're um, standing in front of Verizon's booth at MWC, and you had a big announcement there, didn't you? Perhaps you could tell us a bit more about that. Yes, we did. Uh, earlier this month, we announced a, um, a field trial agreement uh, with Verizon. They will be testing our integrated access and backhaul system. In addition, we announced that Verizon Ventures also invested in our company. They have actually backed us uh, since the founding in 2020. So you've got some momentum going now. So what do you think is attracting network operators to your solution? What's grabbing their attention? So network operators see our solution as a way to expand millimeter wave coverage cost effectively. But in addition, uh, our solution embodies many industry-first innovations. Uh, for example, uh, our mesh radios are the first millimeter wave uh, small cells that provide 360-degree coverage. 360 uh, mesh radios are essential for self-backhauling uh, uh, millimeter wave systems, both from a flexibility and resilience perspectives. Uh, so in addition, uh, our system also supports, uh, can serve uh, users, end users, and do backhauling on the same spectrum and at the same time. An operator can also use a self-backhauling uh, mesh radio and bring fiber to it at any time to add capacity to the network. Uh, also, we support some new use cases. Uh, for example, an operator can use our mesh radio to bring uh, internet service to a building on which the mesh radio is deployed. We can also, or an operator can use our, our mesh radios to backhaul sub six gigahertz uh, small cells or to connect a camera on a street pole to the internet. With all these innovations and the significant improvement in the economics that we are bringing to millimeter wave, 
we think we can make millimeter wave an essential part of 5G and also future 3GPP standards. Well, thank you very much for that. It's been great to hear about all that millimeter wave innovation. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Mm.